Hey, so our next guest has been entertaining audiences for more than 30 years, selling out venues all across the country. But when she's not working, well, don't expect much. <laughs> A year off. I mean, people fantasize about that, right? We've all had those conversations. What if you had a whole year off your life? Like, what would you do? Would you, like, write a novel? Or, like, you know, learn pottery? Or, like, build a cabin? <laughs> nope. Turns out nothing. I did nothing. Uh, I am no different unemployed than I am employed. There's just more of it. Well, yeah, I will have a Bloody Mary right now. I don't have to be at work for another 385 days. Yeah. Go ahead, so relatable. And that's just a little teaser from her latest stand-up special, Kathleen Madigan Hunting Bigfoot. So please welcome comedian Kathleen Madigan to the Pix 11 yes. morning. Yes. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning. Steve, I just missed my mouth drinking my water. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sorry. Yeah, okay. No worries. <laughs> It's so great to have you here. So explain Bigfoot. Like, what is it, what's the meaning behind yeah. the title? Well, there's a whole, the, the, the bit isn't till the end, so you have to get all the way to the end of the special. And uh, me and this other comedian had to drive at night from, like, Medford, Oregon, to Portland, to Eugene. Mm -hmm. And I spent a lot of time thinking about what we would do if we hit a Bigfoot. Because, like, it's worth, like, millions of dollars, so you need a plan. Yeah. You don't want to yeah. just be emotional. And then... While a man was trying to sell me a car, I came up with like four different scenarios that are all oh in the thing gosh. of what could happen and what would happen and what would you do. That's oh, hilarious. good. Yeah. So what would you do? You gotta wait. Gotta wait till the end. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Okay. You know, just a little spoiler alert. Uh, you know, in, in especially you talk a lot about your your parents, um, mm -hmm. which I guess they should be used to now because you have thirty years of comedy. But what's their reaction? And how do you kind of bring them in? I uh, pay them off. Yeah, yeah I, I buy them things. Right. I take them around the club. The only thing that I can make as much fun of them as I want as long as, like, you know, that condo in Sarasota is down there waiting on them to get right. out of the cold exactly. Midwest. They, they've had fun. I, know, I don't ever cross the line. Mm -hmm. Like, sometimes one of my brothers said something, and I said, you have no idea what I'm not saying on stage. Yeah. Like, and open mic night's available to everybody in this family. <laughs> it's not just me. You, you got something to say about me? Go down on open mic night. Start a career. Go ahead. I, have you always been the funny one in the family? And did they kind of know, you know what, this is what she's going to do? No, I don't. Well, yeah. no. There's seven no. kids. I don't really think seven they thought. Kids. Yeah, they didn't really. When there's that many, I don't think there's like an individual plan for anyone. It's just a group thing. Yeah. No, they didn't. My brother's funny. They're all funny. Right, really. okay. My parents are funny. My dad's very funny. It could be edited a little. Okay. It's a little long yeah. sometimes. <laughs> the story. The story. Yeah, that yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. It's like, okay, yeah, let's, yeah, let's we could slap just, this Yeah, we could cut out. out that middle part there. Yeah, exactly. Let's get going here. What's the uh, Cliff Notes version? Um, so, you know, you, you're from Missouri. Yes. Uh, in the Ozarks. Yes. Did you watch the Ozarks? I did, and I watched it with my mom, and she was like, it's very true, but like 30 years ago true. Yeah. And she was like, well, they're making us look like hillbillies. We have a Panera now. She's very upset Panera. because we have a Walgreens now and a Panera bread. She's just That's like, the beacon, this the is Panera. how they're making us yeah. look. We made it. Like, yeah, which is a St. Louis bread company. Right. Anyway, it's like it just moved down here, Mom. It's not that big of a deal. But... Um, yeah, I watched the whole thing. It was pretty real. I wouldn't say, like, Missouri, I don't think we'd be smart enough for the heroin. I would switch that out with meth and probably pot. Okay, Like, we'd gotcha. be good at those. Right, right. Well, adequate. <laughs> <laughs> the heroin, though, it was South America. No, we're not. We're not that advanced in right. crime. Right, oh. okay. Well, you're currently on your Boxed Wine and Tiny Banjos tour, and you were just out on Long Island. What was that like for you? Oh, it was great. It was great. And the, the Boxed Wine, I don't understand why someone in charge of them, like they're advertising, the best thing about it is that it makes no noise in the trash. Mm, right. <laughs> so if you have judgy neighbors, right. they don't need to hear my bottles rolling around yep. on Tuesday morning. No, right. no, 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 no. That's a, that's a fr that's free to the Boxed right. Wine people. You can have it. Exactly. That's what your commercial. That's and a, it's a really good point. Yes. Such a good point, because my neighbor can, right now she's like there he goes again right into the that's the guy on the news <laughs> <laughs> drinky drinky right. yeah you know what, now are you a frenzy a drinker you know that's uh, the brand <laughs> no there's there's Gosh. better ones i think one no offense but there's a couple out there that are they're getting good too yeah, no, it's people, like an adult people juice box. make fun of them yes it's an yeah. adult and you can always get in like Sometimes if the cork breaks, your wine is ruined. You can always stab That's the right. box. Just, you know, even hilarious. if the spout breaks, you're you are getting hilarious. it. You could get in with tweezers. I've done right. it. Oh. <laughs> yes, in a hotel room. Just hold tight so you don't times. want it to go backwards. Yeah, yeah, exactly. you've, been, you've been so busy, though, being on the road and everything, but you also have a podcast. Why yeah, I, started, time? I started that during COVID because okay. my comedian friends were totally boring because they weren't doing anything. And then okay. my, my non-comedian friends have jobs, so I had mm -hmm. no one to talk to, right. really. 
So I just thought I'll talk out loud and see if anybody, anybody listen? listens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I went down and bought one of those things, the board, because I'm like, yeah. if 13 year olds oh, are the doing board. this in their basement, I wow. know. Sure, surely I can learn how to do you this. You got the right? whole thing with the well, audio. Well, it's not like a <laughs> it's radio one. Like it's not that. You know, it's like a mini. Yeah, bored. Right. Yeah, I figured it out. So, yeah, yeah it's been fun. Yeah, That's it's amazing. a lot of young people listen. Right. Really? Yeah, the kids love the podcast. Yeah, yeah. they do. Are you surprised? Yeah, like by one that? kid actually said on Instagram, I'm coming to see your show in Austin. I love your podcast. I didn't know you were a comedian. And I, so <laughs> I wrote the... back, What did you think I was going to do yeah. when you got What's to the, the show? Podcast? And she just wrote, oh, I didn't know. And I thought, they're such a trusting generation. Wow. I've never bought a ticket to a surprise show in my really, life. Really? Where I'm like, hey, I got 30 bucks. Let's go <laughs> see what's going on in that uh, room. What's the title of the podcast? <laughs> Let's tell the podcast. Now, that's it's, a different story when you pay 30 bucks to see what's going on in the other right, room. Right. Well, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably why I haven't done that either. Uh, it's called <laughs> Madigan's Pubcast because I'm usually drinking. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Some sort of alcohol. Yeah. From and, wherever I just was. And just real quickly, what are you doing next? What's next for you? Uh, uh, not a lot. I'm, uh, you, if you watch the special, I'm not a self-starter, yeah. really. I mean, that's done now, so I'll just run around and tell jokes. Um, yeah, and you're honest. After here, I'll probably go have some Guinness and lunch. Yeah, I mean, immediate. Go. That's an immediate plan. Oh, good. Okay. Lunch and Guinness. Right, Irish. Got donuts in the other yeah. house, so Because you're Irish. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day, big week for you. It is a very big week. Yeah. He's making right. corned beef and I'm, cabbage for the first and time. And it's going to be beautiful here. 61 degrees. Yes. Yeah, I Can watched me, the show earlier. Give me a recipe later, because I, yeah. I don't never made corned beef before, and I never made cabbage. So. Why? Wow, you're gonna try it now. I'm gonna try it now. That'll be something to laugh about. Get on Instagram, right, watch it. the people videos. <laughs> yeah. My, I heard cabbage just makes you. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> I digress. All right, uh, Kathleen Madigan, thanks again for being here. Okay, you are, thanks, who, you guys. You are so fun. You can check her out, her latest stand-up special, Kathleen Madigan, Hunting Bigfoot, streaming right now on Amazon Prime. <laughs>